Test one, two. Hola, hola, hola. Welcoming everybody. Thank you for the follow, I appreciate that. I guess I did not set up for insight timer. Test one, two. Destiny of God. Maybe we do some tarot today. Thank you for the likes, by the way. Let's raise the vibes. Welcoming Sister Rose. Sissy Rose, thank you, Coastal Cosmonaut, for the recent follow. I appreciate all the love. Lots of people on TikTok right now, but are they loving their, their damn selves? It's about uh, so welcoming you to the Mystic Village on TikTok here, reminding people to do what to love your damn self. That's what we're about here. Can you say hi, no? Hello, Nova. <laughs> of course, we use the art of sound healing and authenticity, which is why I'm, my goal is to just be me and grow because I see doing what's popular doesn't always grow authentically because sometimes people want the things they don't need, but the mind loves dopamine. Welcoming Sakura Watanabe. We 
Relaxing your body, everybody. Breathing in, I'm aware that I'm breathing in. Breathing out, I'm aware that I'm breathing out. Relaxing your facial muscles. Sometimes we have to give ourselves permission to slow down. Slow your mind down, slow your energy, slow your role. <laughs> so I'm going to do some water sound instead of the crickets. The crickets will be later, so let's do some water. Welcoming Jota, Taekwondo Master, welcoming everybody. Thank you for the follow. Prep the Majestic, thanks for the love. Thanks for the likes. We're gonna, our goal is to ground your energy <clears throat> through the art of sound healing, which is not just making noise. The goal is how can we let go and just be with love, be with joy? Y'all ready? Maybe a bit, maybe a bit slow down, but still have more like, still keep it upbeat, you know. Doom, 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 doom. ASMR, nice to see you. Thank you. Thank you for the sharing. Thank you, everybody.
Thank you for the follow, everybody. Thank Izzy, Curtis, Child, AAA, thank you for following. Welcoming Muso Patty on Twitch, so tank mo, veggie patty, sister. You know, you know so. Oh no, it's too much. Follow Divine Kai. Nice to see our sister Quizone. <laughs> Sounds like Calzone. Thank you for the kind word. Mm -hmm. 
Madness. Thank you, Quazone. Thank you for all the follows. Maddie the Baddie. <laughs> Thank you for all the likes. Welcoming Smart Apps. Thank you for choosing to be here. I'm just going with the flow, with the feeling, with the emotions.
My name is Brother Tanet here on TikTok. Just got on here this week, and the whole goal is to help ground the energy on TikTok and on Twitch because our week can be stressful, our day can be stressful, and sometimes you just want a peaceful vibe, a loving vibe that isn't so much that isn't so much talking about philosophy and principles, and sometimes we want to just chill a bit. So welcome to the chill time. Eventually, I'll start speaking about how can how can we ground our energy, how can we effectively love our damn self, and that's the model of the community. Love your damn self, Chia. Everybody, breathing in. Be aware that you're breathing in. Slowly breathing out. Relax your facial muscles, your hands, your whole body. I give myself permission to feel relaxed. I allow peace to flow. I allow love to flow. I allow myself to feel love in this moment independently. I am enough. I feel enough. Strong enough. Beautiful enough. Magical.
Thank you for the follow. Thank you for the heart. Thank you for the finger heart. Thank you for all the positive energy today and every day. Welcome Angula on Twitch, Judy Butterfield on YouTube. Thank you for choosing to follow this energy. I follow this energy called love. so lofty and the acoustics are amazing I bring you only the best quality the most authentic the most genuine I'm not trying to sell anything here the goal is how can we unite and feel love together called unconditional love where I'm not trying to sell you there's no patreon there's no going anywhere just in the moment now the way is within and within breathing in if more people want to hear because right now I'm doing some music if more people want to hear about how to connect with this energy called unconditional love, Christ consciousness, the Buddha consciousness, awakening, without having to sell a package, without talking so much about philosophy, but how can we connect to this feeling called joy and bliss? Then we will go that way. But right now, let's simmer in the ramen of love.
follows the game. It's okay, Lindsay. You did not give off any negative energy at all. You are simply seeking, right? Many people ask with a closed mind, but you ask with an open mind. When we empty our mind and we play the flute, Many people know the way is now, the way is within. But to constantly be in the practice of mindfulness is really difficult because there's so many distractions. Especially in the culture of TikTok where you're doom scrolling 6 second to 30 second videos. We forget to stop, breathe, and actually feel some depth in our reality because sometimes we can just be looking at everything on a surface level without seeing the depth because we're not looking with an open heart or mind we're looking for a distraction called dopamine and instant gratification and many spiritual people especially on tiktok we we start talking a lot about philosophy but we forget to simply be with the Buddha, be with Jesus, be with Muhammad, be with the God that you believe in, be with what you believe in, whatever it is, it's all the same thing to me. Okay, so if in this community, it's all the same. Because why would love not be in everything? But of course, we have to have discernment. If you say that love is in everything, there, there are some people that are criminals. They're love too, but... If you do bad things, bad things happen to you, right? We have to use common sense, discernment, awareness, and we have to have a community that will call each other out on our own BS. Many people will just follow the word of God, but behind closed doors, they're not practicing the word. They're not practicing meditation. They're not present when we're speaking or we're just speaking some spiritual ego so because why speaking like a guru is very popular nowadays because you know why cash moves everything around me it brings a lot of money because you sound like a guru namaste people are looking for their tribe their community and it's really difficult to find your tribe when you have not connected with your own inner tribe called your own heart. It's hard to find your external community when you don't even feel at home in your own body. Sometimes we want to hear more information from some teacher because why? We have been taught to follow authors, seminar teachers, that leads to selling books and selling classes, but the, but the people become a fan, fanboy and fangirl, but, in, but they, don't have, they don't learn to forgive their baggage and let go. And so I'm aware when I'm coming onto TikTok, what's here? It's like asking, it's like having a problem and asking somebody to spend the Wheel of Fortune. Yes, no, maybe. I'm like, people are not learning anything from Wheel of Fortune spiritual connection. You draw one card, they didn't learn anything. Then they become addicted to you. They really like you. And then you maybe book a one-on-one. -on -one. You know why? 
that's called good business, good marketing. You, do, you give people one card reading. And so what does it lead to? A community that never learns to do the work within. They need somebody else to read the card. And it's fine to guide each other. But a lot of times, when do you start doing your own work instead of being a follower? When do you start being your own master? This is why you say love your damn selves. You are magical. You are powerful. But to connect with that power, you got to be grounded. Reading a lot of books doesn't lead to wisdom. Practicing the things that you know with discipline, with consistency, and with love, with joy, with discernment, calling yourself out on your own BS, that's amazing work. But nowadays, people do good work. They, they get to a good connection with the source, with the divine, with God, with the Buddha nature. And then they go, how can I make money doing this? Fling the flute. How can I make money? Let's do a sound bath, 20 bucks a head. And what happens is the moment you start to make money from using spiritual gifts, you limit your own expansion. Why? Because you have turned it into a human connection versus a unconditional. It's called conditional giving. I, te I play the flute for you. Now you have a condition to give me 20 bucks or some love offering by request but when we think about the people before us the Buddha never charged for money my master did not charge Jesus did not charge for wisdom or healing but nowadays we're we're so off track why people love money more than God people love money more than Buddhism people love money more than their path that they believe in their faith whether it's Christianity, how do you corrupt it? Throw money at it. So we got preachers flying in private jets while people who worship, you know, different, different idols remain unsupported by their own community. But it, it's like this in every religion. Because Jesus did not start Christianity and Buddha did not start Buddhism. But people were just trying to capture what they were saying and create some cult following. But they did not practice the teaching very well. They just wrote down a lot of information. But something's missing. How can you help fill other people's cup? It's yours. It's not. It's empty. And so... When we serve people, the universe naturally serves you. But you, get, you have to be tested for an extended amount of time. Because why? If your faith is not tested, how do you know what you believe is real? This is why many teachers get tested by what? Being broke. Or you get tested by the, the harlot. You get tested by your energy. right? You get distracted. Because if you're not the real one, you will get lost following the money you get lost following the material and then you forget to serve from your heart and some people only serve from their heart on Sundays love your damn self welcoming one love smart apps I've been I've been studying the heck out of TikTok because Honestly, I did not want to get on TikTok for the longest time, but the universe told me whatever they're doing on there is it's good, it's good business. Show up and teach them the way and help them feel love. We can talk about Krishna all day, Jesus all day. We can battle a Bible. But where's the love? We love Jesus so much. When we talk with other practitioners, we forget to love our neighbor. We forget compassion. We need, because when, you, when you're operating with love, you don't need to convert people. Love naturally moves us towards more joy and happiness. But if you need to convert, that's because that's more religious than spiritual. 
because you can be completely religious, but and missing the key, love. Hmm. I'm so honored that I'm able to walk this path and not get lost. Like, how can I make money from people's misery? They can get one-on-one -on -one coaching with me for eleven, a hundred and eleven dollar. They can go on a retreat with me for three hundred thirty-three dollar in Bali. But the moment people heal, they don't need you anymore. But nowadays, if they keep you at the same level, they'll keep coming back to you over. What does, does Samantha like me? Does John, does John have feelings for me? The moment you tell them you need to love your damn self, they'll never come back because they want to hear some bull crap that makes them come back and get a one-on-one -on -one reading that keeps them at the same level, ignorant, unhappy, and lonely. And then they just, we do more shopping, more need to go out, more dress to impress because inside we're not enough. And then the spiritual community capitalize on people's loneliness. Because why? It's good business. A lot of lonely people nowadays. Here's a little bansuri for you. This is one of the most, the, the tone of this flute, it's so heart opening very healing and I hope you enjoy a little more sound and if you have more questions let's see here where we uh, rage 95 says what if you what if I don't believe in any God you don't have to love your damn self believe in yourself because in the beginning I did not believe in all this stuff because why it wasn't time you cannot force love onto people that's not love. And even if you disagree with people, we can still lovingly disagree. And some people, you just love them from a distance. Why? Some people are just toxic because they don't know better. And those people are your greatest masters. Haters gonna hate. <laughs> Haters gonna hate. Mm -hmm. Welcoming Myra, Mystical. Thank you, Gat. Gabe Friels. And uh, let's see, Lamat says, it's difficult to have friends when you have quality. People just can't understand you and to be around people who are excited by trivial things is draining to be around. Mm. Mature, like as you move from immature spiritual devotion to more mature, you begin to need less things outside of you. But eventually, as you begin to achieve some sort of self mastery, you find what are you meant to do? Are you meant to help your corporate environment be more grounded? Are you meant to be sound healer? Are you meant to be a yoga teacher? Are you meant to be a CEO? Are you meant to create something? The universe will show you the way, but before you, you can be shown the way, sometimes you have to take the leap of faith. And you just like, ah. you think it's over. Ah. <laughs> That's why it's, if the leap of faith isn't scary, you're doing it wrong. Because in the beginning, you have to break your ego over and over and over. Because the ego, it knows too much. Even Einstein knew he don't know Jack. Thank mm -hmm. you.
This is a beautiful Indian flute called a bansuri. And this is... When I hear this, I feel like I'm meditating on a cloud with Krishna. Thank you for all the follows. Amanda, Gabe, thank you for your friendship and your heart. Um, can you please write here the name of the flute? Uh, it's called Bansuri. B-A-N-S-U-R-I. Okay. I have four of them. Okay. So this is in the key of like... The lowest note is a G, okay? And it sounds like this naturally. And also, if you don't have big hands, don't, this is almost impossible to, to play, but nothing's really impossible if you really, right? Naturally, you're supposed to hold it like this, right? So the ring finger is supposed to cover the last hole, but to control it requires a lot. Of, but instead, I broke tradition and I use my pinky. Oh no, the gurus. No, <laughs> just get things done. Man. At the end of the day, help people, inspire people, help yourself, fill, fill your cup, help others fill their cup. <laughs> There's a higher, there's a higher key also. Uh, is this the same? I don't think so. So there's a higher key if you just uh, change your technique. This is a lower one. The other lower tone is this is a G, the lowest note. The other one is a G sharp, but it has larger finger, larger hole. So when the hole is larger on the flute, it requires more breath control and more respiration, I guess you can say. And they have to use hard bamboo. So that it has a sounds beautiful.
Thank you for all the follows, by the way. Got a hundred people here on TikTok. About 45 people on Twitch. So thank you for choosing to be here because there's a lot of people doing content and I'm just grateful that you have chosen to be with the grounded vibes as authentic as I can be. Chia. If I want to take you to another dimension, I just press this button. And I press this button. the lower tone okay when you hear that it makes you just want to simmer in the joy of existence but sometimes you need a little bit more a pick-me-up energy this is kind of this is a higher octave this is the d so i have to lower my mic volume then i have to keep your blessings. This flute, Krishna, because when you because this is the D, this is the root chakra. So it's very 
grounding and scent is the most balanced. But if you want something more feminine, this one I call Lakshmi. The beauty of more feminine tone. I'm going to just play it without the reverb on this one first. And thank you for all the follows. I did not expect um, many, so many follows. And thank you for enjoying the vibes. Thank you for 15,000 likes. Whoa. This is a C sharp, so it's a half, uh, is a half note down from D. Okay, here's with the reverb. Thank you for, and thank you for you, and thank you for everybody here doing the work because you would not be here if you did not feel some sort of relaxation, joy, or connection. And I'm so grateful that everybody is here because. It's been a long journey of service. So I'm just really grateful to be to be here with you, you know, simply. Just really grateful. usually play the higher notes a lot because it's such a bright energy and when you're meditating or people who are in deep relaxation it's a jolt of love <laughs> so I, I'll do I will go higher but not not for long because why we want to keep things centered right of course you you've heard the Arabian flutes that you hear this is from Eric, the flute maker. This is, he calls it the Jesus flute because you can see the, he says you can see the camels when you play it. <laughs> uh, do you typically meditate sitting up or laying down? Okay, let me just, we're going that direction. When I first started meditating, I honestly laid down for the first three months because why at least I was trying to meditate when you first start your meditative journey whatever you need to just start is what you need because it's so boring like the mind like it's the mind thinks is boring so if you can find any way to just practice it's what you it's it's gonna inspire you to eventually push all the way to where you can just sit like this for hours. All right, but of, of course, all the extra stuff, make sure to be humble and be ground because you can definitely show off your yoga pose. 
you can definitely show off. I can do the full lotus, right? But of course, it's more about what's within. Sometimes we do difficult yoga poses to show everybody how far we've come, because we don't see, we don't learn how to be enough. So we need somebody to validate us and say, "Wow." Right, so when I play the flute, I play from my heart. I don't play for you to go, "Wow." I play for myself too. Right, I, 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 whenever I'm playing the flute, I'm playing for my heart. If I catch myself playing to impress people, I need I strike it down right away because when you start to do, when you start to operate for something outside of you, you've already disconnected from the source because the source is within. Vintage writer says, "Thank you for all the follows, by the way. Be here, nothing. I'm older, so I can't sit like that anymore for very long. The ego, the mind will make excuses. I'm older. I'm overweight. I can't. It takes slow. It, it, it's you need to slowly get to it, right?" Before I got into meditation and had good form, my legs were like this. Okay, like I could not, and I was. I it felt very awkward. But guess what? When you are into practicing, when you're hungry to develop yourself, you're like, okay. When will I be able to sit? And not feel so awkward, so I learned different techniques on how to be more comfortable in meditation. And I'm gonna be honest with you that when I first start meditating, and I try to sit, my back hurt a lot. So I found out that if you put enough cushions to where your hip is above your knee, you're a lot more comfortable and you have better posture. Thank you, Ray of Light. Thank you. So for many months, I sat on two pillows folded. Okay, so basically four layers <laughs> of 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 a uh, pillows. But over time, as my mind told my body to relax, as my energy become more grounded and more peaceful, my legs. I recognize I could command my muscles to relax, and I realize, okay, how far can I go by pushing the leg down? And I got to the point where I sat completely flat like this, and I was like, I did not know that was possible, but. You don't know until you keep practicing and trying, right? I was like, okay, if I can sit half lotus like this, I need to also learn the other leg. Half lotus on both side, full lotus on both side, right? I'm come. This is my comfort. The not comfortable side is this side. But why do we do this? To break comfort. As you begin to be more advanced in your practice, you need to find a way to not be so comfortable in because comfort zone it it keeps you in a box. When I live stream, I don't lean on anything for six, five to six hours. Right, literally, I just sit like this for. Five, six, seven hours, but in the beginning, my brain goes ow, 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 and I'm like, okay, universe, welcoming Darwin. I am Buddhist, and I enjoy your. Thank you, thank you for being here. Up, right? My my brain goes ow, 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 ow. I'm like, really? I like it's good. It's good training for you. For five hours, no leaning back, 
Eventually, my back muscles got strong enough to where I could just be like this the whole time. And it keeps your energy flowing, your posture is good. And if your energy is ungrounded, you know right away. You know right away. Why? Because you're so used to doing this, the moment you're ungrounded, you start feeling the energy run through your body all over the place. So, what do you do? You keep doing what you've always been doing breathing in. Just because you, the energy is different. The Buddha nature is the same. The Christ consciousness is the same. The divine energy is all is one. There's just one energy. And if no matter on the, the days that are tough and the days that are easy, it's still divine and it's still love and it's within you and it's in everything. But for you to feel it in everything, it's got to start within first. Why is the lotus posture important? Are we going down this path for real? <laughs> um, the, the truth is that, okay, for example, sitting like this, your perineum, your root, like the, where your root chakra is, is, is not completely to the ground, okay? Let me see if I can center the, the camera here. Okay. When you do full lotus, what happens? That perineum area, where the root and the sacral chakra is, is completely on the ground. So you're like very solid, solidly grounded. But this is more advanced, okay? For people who are just starting off, if you, it doesn't just keep going. If you are comfortable sitting in a chair, thank you for meditating. It's about doing the work and keep going. Eventually, when you start to meet other, when you find your spiritual community, when you find your Sangha, they're going to push you a little bit more. Let's shake it up a bit if you're down. What's your favorite food to eat after, I, after a long... I love fruits, okay? I love this fruit called pomelo, grapefruit, and mango. Some days, I look forward to coming home and eating some mango. Or I just go to the store and get mango. Why? It's delicious. <laughs> I like it. And again, It's more about we can practice, we eventually deepen our practice on the outside because on the inside we have curated and tend to our body temple, which means that on a daily basis you're tending to your chakras. How do you feel today? Are you good? Are you happy? Did, have you found your purpose, your calling? Where? Where do you need to, as long as you pay attention and you're good, when your energy and your energy flow, when your energy flows, you can serve others. When your energy doesn't, is not flowing well, you teach people the, the path that leads them to unhappiness. This is why I see a lot of healers and teachers, they do a lot of talking about philosophy, but I don't feel the love in the community. That's, that's, that's the key. Oh, thank you, by the way. 00711. When I... I'm very picky of who I listen to because there's a lot of people who have spiritual ego that's very high. You need some... You need ego, right? All the external... Like, you need to learn to use the ego, but some people, they need to wear the robe to be respected. They need to have the dot. They need to wear the outfit to be respected. But their presence without it, they cannot do it without the external. 
right? Because when you master when you when you master some art form, you become the art, right? When you play the singing bowl and you deeply connect with the singing bowl, you become the singing bowl. When you connect with the flutes, you become the flute. You speak like the flute. You speak sound healing. When your healing form is sound healing, your tone of voice, the tone of your room, the tone of your setting, because inside, that's how it looks inside. Right? Imagine the the studio and the room here is set like this because of something inside. But it's not about being perfect. It's about doing the best that you can from your heart and improving. That's the key. Doing the best that you can and improving. Some people are doing the best to get to a state of life where they're good, but they never look. How can it move from goodness to greatness? How can it move from greatness to amazing life? And how can it move from amazing life to profound connection to the Buddha nature, to awakening enlightenment? And the beautiful thing is, the universe will show you how the moment you just keep taking a leap of faith over and over and over and over, so much that you, every time you take the leap of faith, eventually you learn to do what? Fly on your own. But before you can fly, the mother bird has to push the baby bird. Welcoming True Heart, Joey Pat. Thank you for all the followers. Ali, Sapphire Eyes, Bald Masses, Respect. I'm having some homemade egg fried rice. It's just <laughs> shout out to Bald Man. I think we need some music, right? When when we look at the chat, when we look at the stream, we have to read the energy. What? What, what do we need to harmonize? I think we need some music, you know what I'm saying? Let's go with some Buddhist mantra. Everybody knows Om Mani Padme Hum, right? Welcome, Nate. Om Mani Padme Hum, Padme Hum. Om Mani Padme Hum, Mani Padme Hum, Mani Hum, Mani Padme Hum, Mani Padme Hum, Om Mani Padme Hum, Mani Padme Hum, Mani Hum, Mani Padme. Money, 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 money
guardians of planet Earth, protectors of the water land and above. We are the angels of planet Earth, so be the change and meditate spreading love and say Om This is the Medicine Buddha Mantra. It goes like this in a more shamanic. This is more shamanic Medicine Buddha Mantra. The Medicine Buddha teaches us all healing is possible. That's it. All healing is possible, no matter how bad it is, how terrible it is. You, it's possible to heal your mind, your heart, your body. And it goes like this. Here we go. I'm not going to loop it. We're just going to a cappella it. Okay. Yeah. 
How about something more of Celestial Medicine Buddha?
hearts. I appreciate that. Thank you, Chloe. Chief Zona. Thank you for the blessings. And 30,000 likes. the samurai because when you hear this tone you feel like you know samurai vibe the neck and this is a louder one of the longest flutes I do have the other one I call geisha which is this one She sound like this. This flute I have and it took me about two two months to learn this flute very quiet this is more like the moonlight the other one's more like sunshine now I do have another akibono this is what that this instrument's called the akibono Japanese flute the other one I call the Zen master Bodhidharma, right? When you, and let me know what you think. Welcoming Gemini. Thank you. 
Themselves now instead of waiting later for somebody to love us. We need to learn to be happy with who we are. We can do more music. Anybody have any question? Thank you, Mom or Gremlin again. So that those flutes are Japanese akibono. I have a chakuhachi, and thank you, Indiana girl. Thank you, Ness Quick. We got the five elements up in here. <laughs> We could do something more upbeat. Thank you for being here. How long did it take you to find your purpose? I intensely was looking for my purpose. Before I cared about my, before I did care about my purpose, but I was not truly looking with all my heart and soul. If you're not looking with all your heart and soul, you will not find your purpose because it has to be something so deep and meaningful. What's just why it's called your purpose? If you're casually looking for your purpose, you won't find it. But now, if you're willing to do whatever it takes, why the heck am I here on the planet? Am I just here to play video games? Some of y'all says yes. <laughs> am I just here to? Right. I look back and see when was I the most inspired in my life. When was I the most inspired? Like, what made me feel alive the most in my life? And it was a time when I helped an ex-girlfriend not harm herself from trauma. Which means that through helping people, I felt this energy flowing. Okay, this is a short story. When I was able to help her, because she went through a double. You can say deleting of her baby twice. She tried to delete, and she did. She her her mother disowned her, and she she was just miserable. And I was talking to her. I could hear it in her voice that she did. She wanted to leave the planet, and everything in my body and soul decided not today. And with with all the time, so. With the time that I had with her, it took about an hour to convince her: stop letting some guy out there control your emotion. Stop letting your parents control your emotion. You are the gatekeeper of your of your heart and your emotion. After an hour of convincing her, eventually something clicked. Her energy got grounded. And she moved forward, and I was a year later. I was looking for my purpose, and I I decided 
if I could do that every day of my life, if I could help people heal, if I could help people find true happiness every day of my life, my life would be amazing. And so this is what I have been doing for the past seven years of my life for free, for free. I just, right, all the sound that you're hearing, I only do donation-based events. Why? We want to unite humanity through love, not through, not through making money from them, not through capitalizing on people's misery, and then they, don't, they become addicted to you. So the music go hand in hand with the wisdom. So I'm sharing with you where the music comes from. Right? When you hear me playing the flute, I'm not just making noise. It's coming from my heart. And it's not even mine. It's the universal heart. And we're all connected through this thing called love. And this is what the mystic village, the community that I have been leading for the past three years as a sound healing community that doesn't look to make money from people, but look to use sound healing to unite humanity. And if they feel like donating, they can. If they don't, we still love you the same. Right? There's no like, after the sound healing, we also have a yoga studio. You, no. Help people. Right. Uh, thank you, Amber. Because I, I have a teacher, I have a master. And he says, just help people. He, and I was like, when are you going to tell me about money? <laughs> thank you, Amber. Because here's the thing. When you serve with all your heart and soul, the archangels, Buddha, Jesus, all the great energy they come together and like how can we support that being who's peer and not trying to capitalize on people's misery right that group right there they're not looking at collecting 10 percent here we go that group right there they're not looking at creating sound healing events at yoga studio they're just doing free work how can we make sure it never rains on their event for over a year it has not rained on Sunday, 2 p.m. in Houston, Texas. We've never been rained out. Just imagine that. For over a year, we've never been rained out. Why? It's just coincidence. Because when you do something from the purity of your heart, the angels, if you don't even believe in angels, some magical thing protects your pure thing. But if you're doing the wrong thing, It will hell, it will storm on your event. And I tried to collaborate with people who was doing things for money. And what happened? A full on hell storm in Houston, Texas. We had to hold down the tent, all the electronics were there, but luckily only one audio recorder went bad, everything else was fine. And it told me, I was willing to correct I'm, I'm willing to collaborate with anybody because of love but I already knew who I'm getting involved with but the because when you're a light worker with purity crossing path with light worker looking for to make money from people it's like conditional love and unconditional love have no place for each other right there's no unconditional hate that's just hate so when you mix duality with divine it doesn't and it clashes now I didn't want to believe in this, but through many mo through multiple experiences of collaboration, the truth is the truth that you know whatever I've experienced, that's the truth. Because when I jump onto TikTok, I'm not here looking to make twenty two dollars and twenty two cents from a card reading, and a full reading would be fifty five dollars and fifty five cents. I'm here. How can we unite TikTok and spiritual community on here without needing to think about money? How can we keep things pure without needing energy exchange? Oh God, shots fire. <laughs> now I'm here to be a little sassy because this is the way you deliver messages without offending people. I'm trying to be graceful but still deliver a hard truth that I have been seeing because I, 
You know you've reached enlightenment when you begin to vibrate at it. I have no idea what enlightenment is, but maybe you do. And again, I'm just so grateful that I could be here with you. Because I tried. It's been a long... I've, I've been streaming on Twitch, okay? Which I'm, I'm streaming on Twitch right now. Okay? I've, I'm, I've been streaming on Twitch for about five years. And eventually the universe says, go stream on Insight Timer. And I've been streaming on Insight Timer for about six months. And the universe goes... Why don't you try TikTok? And I'm like, really? But when, when the universe tells you something, you have no choice. When the universe tells you something, you got no choice. You can always say no. And then tell you, follow your... Because deep down, something's always talking to you your own heart, you the right thing to do. But because I see a lot of spiritual people on here following this guru and this ideology, but when I hear people talking and discussing about divine things and it sounds like politics, ew. What are you doing on there? Battling ideology about love and not actually feeling love with each other? And so I just been, I did not expect 150 people to be here at all because I was just like, yeah, it's TikTok. Let me just hang out. This is literally my sixth stream, okay? <laughs> but it didn't just happen, right? Before live streaming on Twitch, I've been trying to to... I've been trying to make it on YouTube for like five years. Imagine trying to create spiritual YouTube for about four to five years and just failing over and over. But I did not give up. I became a Twitch partner. But then something... I became a Twitch partner, but I lost my joy as a spiritual teacher because I was doing things to get following. I was doing things to be popular, but I lost my authenticity and I destroyed that ideology because I used the, the vehicle of Morpheus, right? I would wear the... Welcome in Chloe. Are you ready to exit the matrix and realize you're the one? So I did that for a year, which led me to getting partnership because I was playing this character, Cosmorpheus, Cosmic and Morpheus. <laughs> Cosmic is my Twitch name, and Morpheus is something that I love from the Matrix. I love Matrix number one. I don't know what the rest happened with Matrix, but it got too crazy. I mean, it's like, right? But then the first Matrix was the most impactful, and I, you know. And so I found an inspiration, wore the glasses, which is... When I find it out, <laughs> did not plan to. I love the first one too. <laughs> because it made sense. Now, for whatever reason, I grew up, our family owned a laundromat, and we also had a video store, okay? On the weekends, we had one movie on repeat, and it was The Matrix. So the amount of times I have watched The Matrix version one, it's like that you, Mr. Anderson, Neo. We don't have much time. <laughs> you know, it's like you choose the blue pill. You go back to reality and nothing happened. 
we choose the red pill. You go down the rabbit hole, and I'm like red pill. <laughs> so and the and the action was quite amazing. Let me use the restroom, and then we're gonna make more music. Let's uh, we can do some a bit more tribal drumming, something like maybe kind of tribal house world music kind of vibe if you don't mind you know i'm trying to i'm trying to vibe a little bit more let's see peter says blew my mind at 10 years old that closing credits music oh yeah the music ding, ding, ding. Ding, ding, ding. i don't know what the closing music kind of remember let's see Thank you for choosing be, to be here again because I'm just doing the best I can to engage with you because I know that when we are on TikTok and all these short form, sometimes something like that. Okay, I'll be back. What are these instrumentals? I just make them on here. <laughs> Let's change the background vibes too. Change from the water, maybe a water flow instead, huh? Every detail matters, you know? Okay, so stop, stop the birds. We do a little water flow. A brook or a creek. Let's see. Creek sounds good. What do you ask? Are you on Spotify? Not yet. I mean, I'm on there, but thank you. This is my show. Thank you for the p 
Paper Crane. I appreciate that. And Devin Davidson, thank you for the, the hand heart. Could you recommend a place in Houston for relaxing, meditating? <laughs> um, there's an arboretum. Uh, there's a, the, the place that I go to a lot. This is my... Yeah, this is my... Uh, the place that I go to a lot is called... Well, in the past, is Edith Moore Nature Sanctuary because it's not crowded with people. It's a tiny little sanctuary, and it's dope. You don't want to. You want to go to where there's less people. You know, when you go to the main. Now every Sunday we 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 meditate every Sunday at Menil Park, two p.m. Free sound healing and sound bath. And currently. <laughs> We have over 60 people, see, over 60 people show up, but on a good day, it's gotten to around 160 people sound bath. It got so big, we need to get audio equipment and wireless mics and all that because there's too many people and just me, brother Sean and sister Emily, who I show them how to do sound healing. It's just three of us, and the only way to really make an impact with that many people, we have to get speakers. So we have wireless power banks to make it happen in Houston, Texas. And they, it's a, we haven't got kicked out yet. Well, actually we did in the past, but it's more political reasons or egoic reasons that we got kicked out. But it was during the pandemic. The group people there were, there was too many people meditating outside during the pandemic, and it was on a special day, which is the 50th anniversary of that space. And people were not going to their 50th anniversary anniversary stuff. They would come to meditate with us, so they kicked us out <laughs> for a bit. Music time. Okay, yeah. Some people, you know, there's a there's a lady that she drives two hours to come meditate with us because she lives in like the country. <laughs> Let's just say the country, <laughs> straight up the country. <laughs> um, we're at Menil Park. Okay, Menil Park free bring you yoga mats and I've been out there for three years 2 p.m. Um, if you want to check it out farther I have an Instagram called HTX underscore meditation okay on Instagram is HTX underscore meditation if you're around the Houston area okay and I also live stream it on insight timer so I'll see if I can live stream it onto TikTok also so y'all can. Again, I just got onto TikTok. I look like, who's la Right, I just got onto TikTok. So as we move forward, I'll see if I can live stream the sound bath. It's just the app apps are conflicting, that's all. Music time. Any more questions before we dive into some more music? Thank you, Am Amishima. Thank you. Thank you, Chloe. And thank you, everybody. Satankmo, Ding. Nice to see you. How, how are we feeling? Lots of energy. Everybody, breathing in, slowly out. Hey, thank you, Mr. Weird. 
Breathing in, be aware that you are breathing in. Breathing out, be aware that you're breathing out. Relax your whole body, relax your facial muscles. Relaxing your hands. Give yourself permission to let your love flow. I allow love to flow. I allow myself to feel love. I give myself permission to be happy with whatever is going on in my, in my life. I give myself permission to be happy right now. On the way to improving my life, happiness is not the destination. Happiness is the journey. And the journey, breathing in. And slowly out. And a gentle smile because you're just happy to be alive today. It's a beautiful day. How about a little kalimba action? If you have a kalimba, you're welcome to play along too. Because sometimes sitting still is not enough for you. You're, wel you're welcome to use your sound healing tools, which I'm sure many of us have. Like This is a good starter, okay? Like you're welcome to practice with me. Because when you practice, you grow. When you watch me practice, you get inspired, and with that inspiration, we take action. And remember to enjoy the journey. Were you always musically inclined? Not really. But I was more... I just really want to help people. And I... When you, when you have the will to help people... Thank you for the roses. Nan Chik Lisa. When you truly want to do your part, the universe bless you with different gifts so now I can pick up an instrument and use it for sound healing I might not master the instrument but I can make sure that whenever I'm whatever I'm playing it's gonna help open 
your chakras without you even knowing it. What and who inspired you to first play music? Um, <laughs> growing up, I was always around instruments because it's part of the Thai culture. I played a lot of Thai classical instruments. The tingcha is the first instrument I played. And I played the cello in middle and high school, but I did not ever practice. So I just played it because my sister was an orchestra. <laughs> so I was terrible at music because I needed more intuitive instruments like drumming. So the Thai instrument that I did play was drumming. I did a lot of drumming, which allowed, which is a great meditation. Right? Drumming is an amazing way. I, I had a lot of energy. So playing the drum made me use my energy to ground myself. And then I saw this guy named Temple Sounds on YouTube. He was surrounded by Tibetan bowls. And I was mystified, I guess you can say. I was like, whoa. As we move forward with our community and I see people taking me more seriously, I will share with you the art of sound healing. But the moment you start using it to make money, you will disconnect with the energy. Right? So as we move forward and people start to take me seriously, then I will share with you everything. Because why? I see many people just looking to not heal but make money and so people just get a good sound bath but there's no healing going on so that's moving forward because why if you learn sound healing then you can go to your local park and play for free and if people are inspired they may donate they may not but the whole goal is for you to do your part because my the vision that the universe showed me. Imagine every park around the world. Somebody is playing a crystal ball for free and you can meditate together without having to spend $3,000 on some sound healing certification. Level 1 and 2. Ew! When I see that, I'm like, there they go again. $3,000 for a what? Sound healing certification. Reiki level 3, how much? 500 What the? So all the, the people that I'm talking about, they don't like it when I start saying this because it's called facts. So when I start talking like this, we filter out all the people who just do spiritual stuff for money. So I'm letting you know, when you're here, I clear all the people who, who ain't the real ones. Right? When I start talking like this, they go somewhere else. They don't want to hear the truth. So, and the thing is, this is everywhere that I go. Thank you, Tammy. Right. Everywhere I go, I'll be speaking the truth and it makes those people like, ooh, I don't want to hear that. Oh, he's talking about me right now. Oh, God. Because right. sometimes people don't have donation, but they still would like to be part of the community. You don't need to give 10%. Just show up with your heart. Because when you show up with love, you make the community full of love and not looking for business. And I'm so grateful I have a teacher who helps people without thinking about how can I make money from them? 
Do I sell food? Do I sell singing bowls? Do I sell flutes? Do I sell a bunch of crystals they don't need but they buy anyways and 20 decks of tarot cards and oracle cards that they don't even utilize to its full potential because they've just been spiritually marketed and not love their damn self? Shots fired. By the way, you can also have one-on-one -on -one coaching for me with 300 bucks. We're coaching right now, free. Gio.
Remember, there's nothing wrong with making money, but it does disconnect the healing energy. It's called conditional love. I offer you something, you offer back, but when you give with no expectation, it's pure. When you give from the purity of your heart, it's why we remember great mystics like Jesus, Buddha. And imagine we can use that energy to help people or make money and then disconnect from it. for all the love, support. Thank you so much. Welcoming Sister Judy, Greta, Yamilet. Thank you so much.
Om Tare Du Tare Soha means I prostrate to the liberator, mother of all the victorious ones. Which means sometimes you don't believe you're going to make it, but all you need is just start to believe. Sometimes your faith is slow and you're sad. All you need just Believe a little, just a little love goes a long way. This is a green Tara, the, the mother, the celestial mother of the Buddha. But this just means the Buddha nature is within. But sometimes we don't even believe in this spiritual stuff. Believe in your damn self. That's all you gotta do. Sometimes you're not sure if you believe in, just believe in love. Just begin, because I did not always believe in all this spiritual woo-woo stuff. I don't know what is this stuff. But I just kept being open and asking questions. And if it doesn't make sense, you don't have to believe. If it doesn't make sense to you, you don't have to believe it. Because sometimes your faith, your belief needs to be tested by in an you know, in an extended amount of time. Believe through practice and you'll find out for yourself. You are love. Our sister here, Sapphire Eyes, or Sapphire Eyes says, Thank you so much for the work you do. I lost my only baby last night. Your work is saving my soul. Thank you for keeping your faith strong. Your baby may transition, but your guardian angel, you have a new one hanging out with you right now.
Thank you for all the support for Sapphire Eyes. Thank you everybody for the love. This is what, imagine that the internet, look at all the healing happening. All we did was have faith. Thank you, Judy. Thank you for your blessings. Because we believe together in love purely. And with this pure love, it's healing. And we're using the internet to send healing. Because I see a lot of people talking about God, talking about ideology, but it's missing love. So I'm just grateful. And I'm grateful that we can feel love today, together, especially on the internet. <laughs> but the truth is that it's just happening in the moment. Thank you for the roses. Thank you, everybody. Because the, the universe told me, hey, look, I know that you were going to play more tribal and upbeat, but your brother and sister, they need something else. Opinion on Dong Sen. I did not study that deeply towards that route. I focused more on the practice, but I did study Milarepa. Melarepa and his, you know, the story of Melarepa. And then I got trained that way, so I'm grateful for the Vajrayana style. So when you're hearing the sound healing, right? Because where, where does this come from? This is called a Tibetan singing bowl. Sadness, negativity. Breathe, breathing in positivity, joy, happiness. I did not, I chose not to study numerology, but I know people who do. <laughs> Again, I just focus on how can I help people return back to their heart. Welcoming Christina, nice to see you. That's all I care about. How can I help you return back to your heart, which is now, without doubt, fear, and worries? How can I help you feel joy? How can we feel joy together? How can we feel the party of joy together without needing to be so philosophical and talking about joy? I 
think it's getting darker, so let's. Cr I think we we should turn on the crickets, huh? Late to everything, <laughs> Trisha, Tammy, thank you. Thank you for all the followers again.
A New Hope on YouTube said, what? You got a flute? <laughs> I've been really doing great lately. Hey, shout out to A New Hope on YouTube, doing better, doing great. He says, I think I'm also pushing your channel energy higher. Believe it or not, I have the effect. Can you do a solid list of some of the flutes? This flute is called a triple drone flute in the key of E. And it sounds amazing. Enjoy.
Thank you.
Thank you everybody for being here. Thank you for all the roses. Thank you for all the recent follows. Let me go. This. I did not expect this many people because I just show up and do my part and just grateful that people enjoying it. So thank you for you being here. Thank you Capri Sunny. Thank you Kilo Mike Melissa. Thank you for being here Chloe. Thank you for your constant support. Chief Zona. Thank you to Judy always here too. Reptar. Thank you to Narali Litty for sharing. User Nicole, Robert, Marty, Mikhail, Trace, thank you for the roses. Kelly, Trisha, Andrew, thank you Gula, thank you for being here. Thank you Easton for the follow. Brian, Vintage Rider, thank you for being here. Kit Kat Cafe. J Man, Julian Gaming, Man of Chi, Hair, Lover, Color, Specialist. Thank you for the follow. Anthony King. And uh, again, I'm just doing my best. I'm just keeping it authentic. And sometimes people are going to like more. Some people are going to come and go. I just, the, the lesson, just keep doing you. Just keep doing what makes you happy. And the rest will follow. If you lose yourself on the journey, just get back to yourself, people. one of the this is one of the harder flutes that I have this is called a shakuhachi that I bought for that I got on Etsy from a guy named Wen Elf in Australia and it's a really difficult flute Buddhist learning about plant <laughs> hey shout out to Christy shout out to all the practitioners whether it's Buddhist Christian practitioner Muslim practitioner whatever that your practice that is bringing you joy, keep doing it. Thank you for doing what works for you and uniting in love is the beautiful part. It brings humanity together without fighting. We got enough of that going on. How can we love each other? It's what the mission is. It's what we're doing in here. How to keep things grounded, respectful. Because when we when we get into our heads about ideology, it becomes political. When we let go of politics, we all want the same thing. Happiness, love, validation, understanding, compassion. But it starts with us loving our damn selves, shoot.
Thank you, Kelly, for the heart puff.
says thank you for the music I listen to you from my work thank you love goddess 555 thank you for all the follows Debbie Palmer Slim Midnight Sunshine Ray Sid Rocks thank you for the raid by the way from Reptar with, from Twitch thank you Kimbo Light Work Light Work Erk <laughs> got some water 209 Archie, Debbie Pollock, Lulu, thank you for the follow, Lisa, thank you, Christy, thank you for your blessings with the rose and your compass, I appreciate that, Dancing Mom Mom, thank you for the follow, thank you for the love, thank you. Let's do some Native American flutes. What do you think? This one blessed by the master. My teacher, basically. I got this on Goodwill auction for 40 bucks. This thing is like 200 to 300 bucks. It's made from bamboo. This style, it looks like some guy named the Flute Wizard make it. So shout out to the universe blessing me with this cosmic, holy, amazing sounding flute. And let's see if you agree. And thank you, Gula, for being here. Thank you, everybody. Is this kind of music I think this would be more world music right it's a different it's more cultural music and this is why I love it so much because you can feel the spirit of the Native American ancestor just by right now this is not a traditional Native American flute the traditional sounds like this so I'm gonna go back to playing this one I'm gonna share with you what the roots okay this is the roots
episode. This is the roots. Now the real roots. It's a bird call, right? The real root is this is before it became a flute. It's a bird call. So this is. And then they're like, "Hey, we can make an instrument." So this is the first gen, okay? But as people do, de- people develop. As more people need healing, the magic. Starts to unfold to something like this. Okay, this is called a drone, which means there's two flutes in one, which is the same note. So enjoy. This is 3D printed at my house, by the way. <laughs> This doesn't end here. So from a drone flute, people were like, "How far can we push the flute?" <laughs> the same flute from the beginning, the same key, and you get the triple drone. <laughs> It's like, hmm, can we fit four? I think three is enough. So this is the triple drone. The triple drone, which is you see, so this the the original flute is in the middle. The drone pipe is in the left side here, and then the right side is just half the keys, which create like a bagpipe effect. This is a key of A, and this is a key of A, and it sounds. And shout out to my brother P Y N flutes, because that's where it comes from on Etsy. So. If you want to support, you can. And、uh, he is—he was kind enough to send me a free flute because I made a video for him. So shout out to my brother P Y N Flutes because I was like, "Hey, look, I make a video for you." And now, I mean, he's been popping. So shout out to my brother Reza from Portugal. This is called. This is 3D printed. Okay, don't. Yes, this is 3D printed. I cannot afford those crazy elemental flutes and all these hype. This is a hundred bucks, people. People are selling this kind of stuff for thousand bucks. But my brother Reza, he has managed to keep the price low because why? He's trying to do the right thing. 
So I highly respect him for keeping the price low from the like because these are super powerful and so accessible. When I look at some flute maker, they cost an arm and a leg. This is a hundred bucks compared to thousand bucks. And so I'm not at a thousand range yet. Maybe in the future. So thank, thank God, you know what I'm saying? Thank, thank, thank you for doing, you know, keeping things humble and loving. And this is why we have all these instruments. Some people give, bless me and give me some flutes. And so it's not that pricey, but the energy behind it. The practitioner, the person playing. That's where the magic is. It's love. Sister Bonnie, Dr. Rolefson on Twitch and Facebook. Thank you, Josie. Thank you, everybody. This flute is considered more fire in energy, yang energy, right? It makes the energy bright and rise and like sun bright and shining. This is the moonlight, okay? So this is yang, fire type. This is more yin type, okay? Yin in nature, more grounding, gentle, water type
camera is inverted, so it, I'm at, this is actually my left hand is just inverted. So, chia. It's one of the lowest tone. This is a B. Welcome in Cookie Sellout. Thank you for being here. Thank you, Debs and Josie for the roses. Thank you for your heart. But of course this one is even deeper. The Shakuhachi, this is an A. Does anyone know what a halusi is? It's a, it's a Chinese flute. I got this one from AliExpress. It's more of a mountain tribal. So this is like the, the tribal energy of the Asian mountainous region. <laughs> I'm not again I'm just playing this intuitively everything that I'm playing I'm just literally making stuff up on the spot because that's why I'm happy I'm not in my damn head Thank you, everybody. Uh, Chloe says, so beautiful. 
Ashley says it's got a gorgeous tone. Abby, Abiz says, I love the way you've curated your space the whole life. The whole goal is called unconditional love. I'm not here for some... I'm not here to battle people with ideology. I'm here. How can we generate more love, more peace, more joy? A lot of people on TikTok talking about God and love and Buddha and Krishna and all these paths, but it's missing the feeling. And I'm grateful that we can feel love and feel joy together, just as it is. And so my goal is to keep, like I'm, my character, my energy, I'm here. When I see weird energy, I don't respond to it. Because if you respond to, to sometimes people, the universe shows you who's here to listen, who's here to enjoy, and who's here to stir the pot. Who's here to stir up the energy. Who's here in their heads. And when, when, but of course, this is my life. Like every, I've been streaming for years. We have a local sound healing community and we help people for free, which means we do free sound bath where people can donate, but they don't have to. And so when we do this, it keeps the energy pure and clear and it keeps the people who are trying to capitalize on people's suffering and sadness because they can make a quick buck from sound healing because they got crystal balls from amazon.com. Because they have a certification that enables them to make money. But when you help people with condition, it's called conditional love. When you help people with no expectations, that's called unconditional love. Thank you for the confetti. Thank you so much. honest with you in the past I tried to charge money but it just never like something never felt right because in the local community people who do sound healing they want to turn it into an event naturally right the modern spiritual culture you do sound bath you should do an event but I have been blessed to be trained by a Buddhist monk who I I basically left the real world and I studied with the master for two years, a Mahayana teacher who taught me how to heal without me realizing he was teaching me how to heal. Because all you do is believe, trust your master, trust your teacher. And the beautiful part, he never charged me a dime. For two years, he fed me. He gave me, like, he gave me a car. Okay. And I'm, I'm just here to tell you that I'm not here to hang out and play around. I mean, how can we create love and teach each other the pure way? I'm not here to convert people. I'm not here to bring you to my side. I'm here, how can we enjoy life together now? How can we breathe in? How can we relax together? <laughs> How can we celebrate hum the love of humanity together? Because when, all right, sometimes when we when we look at what's going on in the world, we feel like we're always fighting. But look at this stream right now. Look at all of look at the energy here. I'm just grateful that you have chosen to be here, and thank you for that. And it took me years to get to TikTok. I had to go through YouTube not working out. I went to Twitch. For four and a half years, I went to to Insight Timer for six months, and I'm still on there. And then, after being trained for many years, God and the universe is like TikTok, and I'm like TikTok, you. 
It's noisy on there. They're battling ideology on there. But I'm so grateful because look at what look at this look at what we're experiencing right now. Beauty, joy, the Christ consciousness. And it goes like We're not here to escape reality by being high on sound healing. We're here to, be, to realize you can do this thing called life. You have what it takes. Just keep believing. 
The energy here of love is just, we're not here to chase the love. We're here to realize you are what you're looking for. We're chasing the high of things because we're looking for what's within. You are beautiful, powerful, magical, just the way you are, but you still have to do the work of meditation, believing yourself, positive mentality, and positive action. Whatever path we're walking, whether is we're following Christ, we're following Buddha, we're following Krishna, we're following Muhammad, do what works for you from your heart. Because it's all about love. But when we, and when we get rid of the politics, when we get rid of my God, your God, humanity unites. And when we unite in love, we change the world together. And it can be fun and silly. It doesn't have to be serious. And But of course, we have fun, but this healing energy thing. We're not here to chase the energy. We're here to realize, be the energy you wish to see in the world. Be the thing you're looking for. When you're looking for the one out there, you are the one. But sometimes you don't feel like the one. Why? Sometimes we've been hurt. Sometimes life beats us down. But we're not here to stay on the ground. We're here to rise like the phoenix. We're here to soar. But before we can soar, we got to crawl out of the ashes. We have to look up at the light, but that looking up is not up there the way. But now that we're so high on the energy right now, I'm going to share with you to ground the energy, okay? And here's how we do it. Change and meditate. 
surrender to the love of the moment now. Freedom is what we'll find. for your heart thank you for all the follow thank you so much did not expect 200 people today I didn't expect and I'm grateful you know why God's playing <laughs> you want a little Bob Marley hold on let me drink some energy let me drink some water first we've been streaming for how long four hours so far I've been here four hours, so. Did OJ do <laughs> I don't know, you gotta ask OJ. I just drink OJ, okay? <laughs> Can we see your picture frames? Okay. So I got Jesus here. Yeah, I'll share with you. Okay. How often do I stream? I stream normally uh, four times a week. Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday. Oh, thank you. Shout out to the walrus. <laughs> Um, but of course, I do Amazon Flex, Amazon delivery with my car as my day job because I'm trying to figure out how can I make, how can I, how can I serve and do this more? And a way has opened on TikTok because I didn't expect so much support. Because again, this is literally my fifth live stream. I think it's my fourth live stream on, on TikTok and it's kind of a surprise to see how many people are enjoying it. So this is, you know, I was very closed off to Jesus at first, but I realized people believe in Jesus as something works. And so you see, this is my, this, when I see Jesus, this is how I feel. The love Okay, but of course, I come from Buddhist roots. I come from Buddhist roots. Another mystic on the altar, you may know him. The legend. Rastafari. I used to have dreadlocks, okay? Because my teacher, Michael Beckwood, one of them, he had dreadlocks. 
my other teacher, Mystic Bob Marley, had dreadlocks. And I'm like, well, I'm, and my parents like, cut your hair, it looks messy. But I did it because God told me to. When the universe tells you, hey, just do it, you do it. So shout out to the mystic. One love. Every little thing's gonna be alright. The reason why I do music, I was sitting in meditation and I was like, who is the most positive music you know that is in the mainstream? No, no woman, no cry. No woman, no cry. No, no, no. started studying his lyrics I'm like most people think great God will come from the sky take away every pain and make everybody feel high as if you know what life is worth you would look for yours on earth Cause now we see the light hey, hey, Stand up for your eye Come on We sick and tired of your We sick and tired of your ism Schism game dying Go to heaven in the Jesus name Lord We know and we understand Almighty God is a living man You can fool some people sometimes But you can't fool all the people all the time Cause now we see the light What you gonna do? Stand up for your right Mystic Bob Marley My first I did not always believe in the mystical, the spiritual, but the one thing I believe in, the spirit of my great-grandmother, okay, that's me when I was a child, I, because every photo, my great, my great-grandmother always adore me, and this lifetime, I went through a lot of pain. I moved from Thailand to America when I was seven. I got picked on a lot. I was a very feminine boy in a very masculine culture. And I got picked on everywhere I went. So I, I hated my childhood up until... <laughs> my life was terrible for up until I had the awakening. And the whole... and. I had a couple near-death experiences and in the near-death experience I apologize I said grandma if I 
if I transition this this way, don't be mad at me. This is the best I can do. And so I did not believe in anything but the first God I believed in, my own great-grandmother's presence and love. So who knows, who knew that somebody's love could continue on and on even though their body's not here? God's playing. We have Guanyin Bodhisattva. Guanyin, many people know, the Bodhisattva of compassion. And many monks that taught me. Okay. So this is my current master. I'm just going to show you a little bit because I'm trying to, you know, I'm not trying to hype him up, you know. I'm, I'm extremely grateful for the master because I never thought, why would I have a master? Because sometimes you need to get your ego humbled by somebody you trust, love, and respect. That's why all the, there's, a, there's many spiritual leaders who need to get their ego checked. But they don't have a mentor, or a master, or a teacher. So sometimes it's easy to get corrupted by money, right? Remember Oprah Winfrey was chill, but what happened? She began to chase the dough. And now, Oprah... has changed. This is why keeping things pure is difficult as you move up. Why? Because you have to be, you have to put God first. You have to put the Buddha first. You have to put humanity first. And when the millions of dollars come in, are you going to sell out? Many people do. Right? When you think of Bikram Yoga, right? Even the gurus be sleeping around. So to do the right thing consistently requires so much discipline. Why? Because there's so many opportunities to sleep around and do the wrong thing. And this is why I'm very peculiar who I get involved with because, I, because behind the scenes, who are they? Because sometimes they show you like right, they're sound healer, but behind the scene, they just want that money. Okay. So we have the legend... Master Thich Nhat Hanh, the Zen master, uh, what did he teach me? Breathing in, be aware that you're breathing in. Breathing out, be aware that you're breathing out. Be in the present moment. There is no Una, there is no unalive. Like the cloud, when the cloud disappears, we don't have a funeral for the cloud because the cloud, it changed to the rain. The cloud transformed to the snow. The snow go to the ground. It turns into water puddle in the ocean. The animal drink the water. Humans drink water. That water grows the apple tree, which means the cloud is in the apple, in the tree, in the human. That means that if the cloud is in everything, everything is interbeing, everything is connected. All is one. Now, I don't always go through, I mean, and of course, practicing mindfulness, the art of communication, sipping tea with mindfulness. As you're enjoying the flavor, when you eat your food, take your time to chew, because you can, do, you can turn everything into meditation. Take your time to chew, enjoy the flavor, and cherish the interconnectedness. Right, so I, I definitely did that for, I still do that when I'm walking. Be with your steps mindfully.
notice the stomach grumbling. <laughs> and of course, we have two Thai monks who taught the practice of using the crystal orb called Tamagai Vipassana. Right, so you're, there's a technique where you visualize a crystal orb with a cosmic dot of light at the center. And you use, instead of thinking about the visualization, it's more in your body, similar to the Tumo style. Hello from Bangkok, Swadika. So I grew up in Theravada Buddhism. So this is Long Pa and Long Pa Wat Pak Nam. Long Pa Sot. We have Guan Yin, we have Amitabha, we have a Tibetan Buddha statue, we have the Medicine Buddha, Siddhigarbha Dia Tangpeng Wotan. Lola says, I can never watch for too long because I get depressed. None of my family understands this piece. Thank you for the Rosen. Here's the thing, my, my, my family was the same way. Because my mother grew up being harmed verbally, mentally, emotionally. It's so painful, she can't even tell me before choking up first. But before she even... But imagine, it takes two hours to get that deep in conversation. She, my mother used to be very unhappy. And I was like helping everyone else, but I came home to my parents fighting and my mother unhappy. And I decided I'm not going to help anybody till I help my own mother first which took five years. Mm. But my mother is one of my greatest masters ever because why? She was so close-minded. But as I learned to master and let go of my suffering and heal my roots and pluck the dark roots out, positive energy, chakras open, and after three years, my mother became more positive, less whiny, less complaining, healthy, happier. And as I met the master, my mother became even healthier because she had psoriasis, but God bless her with, with the psoriasis vaccine. So I'm just so grateful because, you know, I've been blessed already. Like, I'm not, with what I have right now, I'm not the, I live with my parents. I do Amazon delivery. I drive a Prius. I don't have that much, but I do have a ton of love. And I'm working at, how can I grow what I'm doing? How can I keep serving God? Because I know that if I get a 9 to 5, I might not be able to do this. Because why? I've been sitting here for literally four and a half hours. But the master told me, YouTube, just keep going. And I'm like, the YouTube's not working out. I try Twitch. Twitch works out, but something's missing. Right? It's not growing. I try Insight Timer. It's great. And then now I'm on here, I'm like, so it's been years of devotion, brothers and sisters and people out there. And people will judge you. You still live with your parents or this and that. But it's about how can you make your life work? How can you use your life and find harmony? Yes, you need a job. But if your job stresses you out and you don't have time for yourself. Yeah, I got bracelets. <laughs> you need to find balance and harmony. Right? Because why would I? It's crazy. Why am I on here? I'm not even charging money. I'm not asking for a $22 card reading, $50 full reading. There's no one on one consultation. This is it. Like what I'm bringing to TikTok is right here, is right now. So if you like it, that's what you get. If you don't like it, <laughs> there's other people. <laughs> How often do you, uh, once a week, every Saturday? <laughs> L 
Like I grew up. You know what I grew up with? Arahang sama sambuto pakawa hutang pakawan tang apiwate mi supati pano pakawato sa wakasangko sangkang namami. But then it didn't work out for me because I found drugs and I got lost. Because my parents expected me to ab- to be a business professional. My parents expected me to be like other Asian kids. Where, why don't you be like them? They're engineer and and nurses. And I'm like, I'm trying to go to the army. My mother didn't even want want me to go to the army because she was scared I was gonna die. Or I was gonna, yeah, right? So I didn't. I'm like, okay, I'm gonna go to cooking school because I think. And my mother goes, no, that doesn't make money, so I don't go to cooking school. <laughs> What about photography? I... She says, no, that doesn't make money. So I went to college, not even knowing what I wanted to do, because I went to college because everyone else went. Because I never made decisions for myself, I wanted to make my parents happy. I eventually dropped out of college and started street racing. With my Honda Civic SI, <laughs> and I met really. I mean, I started filming people street racing in the past. The twin turbo RX-7, the Supras, the Corvettes. You know, they need a the cameraman. That was me. I went to the car meets. I made car meet videos, and then I found this thing called the club, the Roxy. Turn down for what? I got lost in the clubs, brothers and sisters, for like six years of my life. Okay, let's be more humble. Three years. Three okay, five years of my life, I spent going to the Roxy four days a week. I went to the karaoke bar. Like whenever I stopped going to the club, I went to the karaoke bar for another two to three years. I went, you know. I knew, and so I was around the hustlers. I was around people. Yeah, I was around people who. Because the thing is, I was very sheltered growing up. I wanted to be around this, like rebellious vibe. So I found like hustlers, thieves, people who sold themselves, and it's just it's that uh, it's it's hell. Which meant I was hanging out with people from the hood for many years of my life, and I resonated with that. Because you know why? That's who I grew up around. You know that vibe. Yeah, I definitely needed to to go there and uh, experience what it was like, and it was more like Asian gangster vibes. And eventually, I got heartbroken, long distance relationship that led me to being extremely miserable, and trying out diff- trying out substance for the first time in my life. And when I tried the substance. It made me feel joy for the first time in my life for a long time. Whoa, 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 whoa! So, because I felt joy, I chased it. It was the happiness. It made me feel joy, and so I eventually quit my job to full time be in a trap house and just do substance. That led me to doing so much that I was in the I was in between two worlds, the human and the spiritual, where I decided. Where I started apologizing, and to my parents spiritually, because I was like, "Don't be shame on me, mom and dad. If I go, if I transition this way, please don't shame me, 
because you know this Asian thing. <laughs> so, and uh, but last minute, when I felt that I was gonna let go, I got blessed with a thought. No, I can't go yet because I haven't met this long distance relationship that broke my heart. <laughs> it was silly, but it worked. But of course, that was the first NDE. The second NDE was Halloween night. The same thing happened, dehydration. And I was, what happened was, I was doing a lot of substance. I could not go to sleep after laying in bed for five hours. I was born in Thailand. Right, so I'm like, I had a long two days. So, you know, when you're doing substance, you cannot go to sleep for a couple of days. Yeah, I was in hell, people. I'm sharing this with you to show you what, where my beginnings are. And that wherever you're at, brothers, sisters, and people out there, you're going to make it. You will make it. If I, if I dug myself in a deep hole that I never thought I could get out of. But I guarantee you, keep believing, keep being around positive energy here or wherever you can go and stay away from the people who aren't healthy for your future. Stay away from it. And the thing is, it's up to you. Let go of toxic friends to make room for new friends. Okay. And so I had to cut out so many friends in my lifetime I, I I left all my friends but now I'm happy trying to let go of this relationship yeah here's the thing if you stick around we're gonna talk it out I'm not here to charge money. I'm not here for a $20 reading from you. I'm not here for a one-on-one -on -one later where you pay me money. I'm here for right now. Right? And, and again, the energy when I'm playing the flutes, it's coming from a place where I used to be miserable, as you heard. But I realized if I can get out of hell, if I can get out of deep sadness and shame and feeling shame, like feeling like I'm a failure to my life, to my parents, dropping out of college, doing the wrong thing, I'm here to, to tell you, you can do this, okay? You, you can make it. But I see many spiritual people, they're just trying to capitalize on this. Well, by the way, we have a one-on-one -on -one later. I do Amazon deliveries so that I can keep things pure because the master told me, do I charge money? No, you don't. And I'm like, why does the master never tell me about money? When you do what you love, the money will follow. But I was like, I am doing what I love. But sometimes you have to have faith from it for an extended amount of time. For some people, it's going to happen quickly. For some people, it's going to take some time. Everybody's blessing is different. Sometimes it happens quickly, but they get more tests. So the, 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 the long route, you learn so much more. The quick high has a deep low coming up. Okay. You're in Texas, yeah. Okay, thank you. I will be right back, so... Let me use the restroom and then we'll come back to see if we want to do more music or if we want to engage in more talk. Love you, damn self. Cheers.
Cat break. Okay, baby cat's hungry. You just ate. I fed I, I fed you be, before the stream. Just ki just came to kind of give a kitty kitty cat break a little bit. Okay, I'm gonna, we're gonna do a cat, we're gonna feed the cat here.
we uh, the sound was a handpan. This. Because of Thai New Year's, my parents have to be helping the temple out, so somebody's got to do it. Hey, you're spilling out. Now you have to pet the cat. Because the mother, the mother, I think the neighbor touched the baby cat when it just came out and the mother abandoned this one. So my mother, my mom, of course, decided to bring the cat in and feed, feed the cat. Yeah, she don't want no more. You want more? When she starts purring, you are... More? You want more? Oh, you bit it. Yeah. Now pet me more. See, nap time. Happy? You happy? Yeah, see, starting to make the pill, make the buns. Okay. Breathing in, slowly out.
Oh, this toy? The sound heal. This is a sound healing instrument. Thank you, D Chat. Welcoming. I just like the quality of the sound. And this is a Korean, made in Korea. So I noticed the sound, the tone was very healing. Thank you, welcoming Angelina. Mr. Alfred, thank you for that bracelet earlier. Nori, thank you for your bless. Thank you for all the follows. Thank you, Dr. Papa Kush. Healing with hi Hidalin. Sing three little birds again. Okay, yeah, yeah. How about how about this? How about? Masala, big madness. Thank you, everybody, choosing to be here. Throat dry. Welcoming her organic, her organics. <laughs> vibing, huh? We're just vibing. Listening on an NS10 monitors and your mic sounds perfect. <laughs> I try my best to make everything the best possible. The lighting, the ambience. That's why you see me like mess with a lot of stuff because the master teaches us to be excellent in everything that we do because with excellence, excellence become your brand. Even the mic placement, the tone that I'm speaking at, the way I'm engaging, the way I'm reading the chat, the effort to thank people, taking the time to slow down and say thank you. Because everything that you do 
represents your brand, who you are, which is your identity, right? Your brand, your identity. And if, if you can achieve excellence, it's going to take you very far because instead of chasing fame, it chases you. Love follows you because you feel love within. And the whole goal is how can we, it's more about love than about fame. But we have to also settle higher because if you can influence more people, you can help more people too. And so this is why my goal is to grow because I want to sh- I would like to share this energy where people are open to it. And it just takes time. If you just keep going, brothers and sisters, it takes time to polish the diamond. But before sometimes it's a little rough. But if you never stop polishing, sunshine of my life that's why I'll always be around you clear energy oh clear vibes people call it immaculate vibes right as you can see it's bringing um, even the people who come in with it, right, say, God bless you, Jesus, you know, I respect that, because you know why? That's their relationship. I'm not here to knock on it. I, I realize that for some people, that's what they're about. But, and I could, I can love them for that too. I can, right, if some, if somebody hates you and you hate them back, when does love happen? But if somebody throws hate at you and you feel bad a little bit, but you eventually, Choose compassion. The world becomes a better place. If two sides are fighting, when does somebody lead with love? It's really difficult. Why? Politics. But when you when you keep love non-political, it's just love. <laughs> this is what this is what I live for. But of course you have to understand what's going on in the world so that you can pay attention how to respond or how to not respond. Right? Welcoming Merkaba Indo. What are we looking for? Do we want more music? Let's let's do something more. You wanna you wanna do mess with the microcosm? You want some singing? Or are we talking about some celestial vibes here? Shout out to Sister Quazon. She's been here for hours since the beginning. <laughs> and we've been streaming for five hours. So thank you for hanging out with me. <laughs> it's an honor. Thank you for your positive energy because it takes everybody coming with a loving heart and opening up and being vulnerable to make it feel like a sangha. We can call it a sangha all day, but it's missing love. What kind of sangha is that?
Breathing in positive energy. Relaxing your body, your shoulders. You can rotate. And just give yourself permission to feel love. Have you ever heard of or read the Pleiadian message? Bringers of the light or I think it's called Bringers of the Dawn or something like that. I have an audible book in the past that is channeled messages. Well, let's relax. Let's just This, ma uh, this mantra is called the mantra of, L of light by Varakana Buddha, which is a celestial Buddha, or they call it the Pr Primora Buddha. To me, it's just another mantra that can help heal us or help us return or in, and remember now. Okay, here we go. Thank you, I am the light. Thank you for your heart and heart puff. Kalesi, thank you for your love. Here we go.
okay, we're going to go all the way with this. So let me loop some things because...
That's the mantra of Arakana, also known as the mantra of light. This is more like a Tibetan Buddhism, I think. But it's, I think some Mahayana practitioners use it too. Thank mm-hmm. you. 
110 people on TikTok, 53 people on Twitch, 12 people on YouTube. So thank you for you choosing to be here on this peaceful side of the internet because there's so many great creators. I just do my best to bring the loving, grounded, humble, genuine, authentic. Thank you for choosing to be here.
Relaxing your body. Breathing in. Be aware that you're breathing in. Slowly release and relaxing your shoulders, your facial muscles, your eyebrows. Relax your hands. Sometimes you're still clenching your bottom. You're still squeezing your hand, breathing in love and light and positivity. Releasing the stress, fear, worries, doubt, limiting belief. Breathing in the golden light. Releasing the sadness, the misery, whatever that doesn't serve you. A little kalimba action for you.
flutes of the from Japan or from the ancestors there but made in Denmark <laughs> and Portugal here we go
like the bulls. I have four more. Four more bulls outside to see what people like. But next time, next time.
Thank you, John Ra. 989 Jensen Anastasia. Thank you so much.
which brings us towards the end, which means, thank you, Amanda. Thank you for your time, she says. Pedra says, thank you. Chloe says, blessed. Thank you for doing your work. Like, um, this music is to inspire you to open. Sometimes we carry something that we don't even know, but when you take the time to be in an intimate setting like this one, this stream, this community, the mystic village. You learn to heal yourself because you decided to follow this thing called love. I followed love, it led me here. I followed love, the music come out. I, we followed the flow, it's a journey that happened together there's many streams right now, sound, healing and all, but you decided to come here for the first time because you know why? This is like my fifth fifth time being on here, fourth or fifth time. <laughs> and I'm glad to see 137,000 likes. <laughs> I think that's a good thing. But of course I've been streaming for six hours. Why? I love this thing called love, music. And I know that Chloe has been here from the beginning. <laughs> I've been seeing Chloe here for a long time. Shout out to Chloe, holy. Thank you Ninja for sharing the live. Thank you for all the 752 followers today. Thank you for all the gifts today. Brother John Ra gifted me the first galaxy. I think that's a big deal. <laughs> and I'm just grateful to find that I belong in this little piece of this platform because you know it's been a it's been a long journey of serving and just no expectations, just help people. 
and because when you have been blessed, you want to you want to help you want to see people be blessed with joy and happiness. When you're happy, share that love with people. When you have wisdom, share the wisdom. When you have time, share the time. Because if we all just do our part, it's gonna be okay. We're gonna be okay. Thank you, Michigan girl, Sunny D. Thank you for all the, the roses, the hearts, the bracelets. And I hope you have a wonderful night. I'll see you when I see you. So tomorrow I'll be streaming with my brothers and sisters of the Mystic Village, Emily and Sean. So. When we're ready, I will share with you what we're doing. We normally stream on Insight Timer, Twitch, and YouTube, and Facebook. I recently just got a thousand f followers on TikTok. And so it allowed me to do this. And so I'm just grateful that you have chosen to follow the vibes. And just thank you for your time. Thank you for relaxing. Thank you for the peer energy. Because when I surf on TikTok Live, sometimes I'm like, y'all still arguing about the same thing? That's what y'all did yesterday. You're still trying to prove me wrong, prove, prove me right. I'm just like, what about, what? where's the love? Where's the feeling? Where's the joy? We're still battling each other about, is Jesus real or not? Is Buddha real or not? You should come to my side. It's like, why don't we just go to what works for us, which is love? And my go on here, I'm not here to sell a package. I'm not here to give you a $50 tarot card reading, even though I could do it. Because I've been taught, just help people. Do what you love. And life will work out for you. Thank you, everybody. Thank you, Chunky, Chloe, Elena. Thank you for positivity. Thank you for the humble energy, the light of love, AAA. Thank you, Chief Sona. You've been you've been hanging out the whole time, long time. And I think six hours is healthy because right now my my prana is low, so I really could push seven. But you need to love your damn self. Chia. Good night, everybody. Thank you. Um, to to properly end. We need to om three times. That's what we that's what we do in the Mystic Village, because we have had such a an amazing healing journey. And to make it feel complete, I just invite people to om if they want to, of course. And this is how we do it: relaxing your body, get ready, breathing in. Oh. of the internet, the platform, TikTok, YouTube, Facebook, allowing us to unite in love, grateful for our ancestors, wherever we came from, grateful for whatever religion we came from, that allow us to be here in love and joy, where we unite as humanity, respecting Christianity, Buddhism, uh, Jewish culture, respecting Islam, respecting all the religions of the world that creates love, that represents love and harmony and understanding and compassion. We respect each other. We remember to thank the people before us. We may not get along with our parents, but without our parents, we would not be here. We're so grateful for your presence, for the work that you have done to be here in meditation and harmony. And remember, we remember to thank ourselves for doing the work of meditation, doing the work of being curious. How can I be better? 
how can I heal this depression? How can I heal this sadness? And actually feeling joy in our life is a celebration. Thank you for your time. All is one. The end. Meow. Thank you, everybody, on YouTube. Thank you, on Twitch. And I hope you have a good night. Namaste.